Hello everyone, this is Agent Spider. My mission is to showcase Marth's Jab, a move that is secretly pretty useful in Marth's kit. This move has been severely undervalued due to not being as crazy as it was in Smash 4. Right now, MKLeo already putting all this damage. He goes for the extended Hansen Blade into the tipper, pushing it back up again, and MKLeo... Marth's Jab, or the combination slash, is a disjointed frame 5 attack. It's tied with Marth's Dolphin Slash in speed, making it one of his two fastest ground attacks. It covers enough range to catch an opponent's jump and landings, while setting opponents into varying angles depending on percent and DI. A unique property with the Jab 1 Tipper is that it pulls opponents towards Marth. This is so that the first jab can connect with the second hit more reliably. Now that you know the basic functions of the move, it's time to learn what makes this jab so useful. Jab 1 has surprisingly little end frames, not enough to start a combo like Roy's jab, but enough to start several mix-ups that will fool many opponents. When the jab 1 is landed, you can follow up with a grab if you time the input just right. If the opponent fails to react to this technique or tries to shield during the sudden pause, the grab will win the interaction. Instead of using Grab, you can also use Shield Breaker or Dancing Blade as a strong mix-up. This can easily lead to dealing more damage and taking more stops. Because of Jab's speed, it is a good move to use to halt your opponent's aggressive movement. It is also a true follow-up after utilizing a fast attack that deals little knockback. This doesn't seem too rewarding at first glance, but the positioning you earn after landing the jab can be insanely beneficial for Mark. In this clip, I land a spaced falling back air on this player's shield. However, I immediately commit to a jab. Turns out that this Game & Watch wanted to jump out of shield, so my jab caught him. I dash towards him and surprise him with a pivot cancel forward tilt, robbing his stock extremely early and taking the game. I like utilizing parries as well. Jab's launch angle can also be used to start tech chases. Due to the nature of the knockback, it is easy for an opponent to tech the attack. However, this leads to an opponent's option being easier to predict, especially in the corner. Outside of the starting tech chases, Jab 1 can be used to jab lock opponents after a missed tech, extending your tech chasing and striking fear into your opponents. That is the end of this Marth guide. I have plenty of other guides in the works to help you take your Marth to the next level. If you have any questions regarding me or Marth, please ask away in the comments section. Thank you for watching and keep gaming.